are two types of mindsets that a person can have, either a freedom mentality or a slave mentality. Now, things are looking very, very bad for the year 2023. In fact, Bloomberg just released this article saying that there's a historic bearish sign on the S&P 500. They're saying that it's very rare that we get two bearish years in a row. And if after two bearish years, we get that third bearish year, it's going to be much, much, much worse than the previous two years. In fact, we can take a look at these graphs here and see that the past few times that we have had this pattern, the third year was much, much worse. And so we've kind of got this perfect storm building up here, guys. We have inflation on the rise. We have the markets looking very, very bearish. We have geopolitical situations and geopolitical tensions rising. We have potential disruptions in supply chains. We know that car repossessions are currently now at an all-time high. We're seeing this dealerships are actually freaking out, saying this could destroy the auto industry. We also see mass layoffs coming. All right, We saw a lot of layoffs in 2022. They're saying there's going to be a lot more in 2023. So the markets are looking bleak. Things are looking bleak. If we have the proper mindset, that freedom mentality, then things do not have to be bleak for our future. Now, when I was younger, my grandfather would tell me this piece of advice has really stuck with me. He would say, Jason, a lot of people in your generation believe that freedom is defined by lack of responsibilities. Having the ability to just live this very lackadaisical lifestyle, doing whatever I want because I'm free. But he would look me right in the eye and he would say, Jason, discipline equals freedom. Taking on responsibility equals freedom. And so if we want to be free and if we want to be prosperous during the hard times that are coming upon us, we now need to live with a freedom mentality. And what that means, guys, is taking on responsibility for ourselves and having the discipline to work hard and provide the things that we need to provide for ourselves and for our families. Okay, and this can be broken down into many aspects of life. So the more aspects of your life you can take control over the more free you will be. And I believe that this starts with food, okay? Food, what are you talking about, Jason? Well, let me explain. Whoever controls the food supply controls the people, okay? We've seen this historically. When governments or groups of people control the food supply, they can control mass populations. And so if we want to be free and if we have that freedom mentality, we should be thinking, what is the most fundamental thing that somebody could hold over me that would put me in a position where I am no longer capable of making the right decisions on how me and my family are going to live. And that is food. That's why I'm such a huge advocate of homesteading to some degree, producing some of your own food. It could be a very small amount, but any little thing you can do to produce some or a lot of your own food can be very, very beneficial. And it's very simple to do. People don't realize how easy it is to grow some of your own food. You can do things like potatoes. Potatoes are so easy to grow. You just dig a hole, put the potato in the ground, cover it with dirt, wait a few months, you get some potatoes. Having some chickens, guys, very, very easy to keep chickens, especially if you let them free range. You don't have to feed them very, very much. And um, they produce fertilizer for you so that you can grow more potatoes and stuff like that. My point here is, guys, that if we can get into the habit and the mindset, not just as people, but as families, groups of families that you may know, whole communities, towns, starting little groups of at least somebody producing some of their own food, it would put us in a much more free position, especially when we look around and we see the merging of big agriculture with big pharma. People are having monopolies on seeds, what can be grown, what cannot be grown. We're seeing issues with the supply chain. We're seeing different kinds of um, taxes and sanctions against nations that are limiting the amount of food that is available throughout the world. If we want to avoid some of the hardships that are coming our way, growing our own food can be very beneficial. You also have to think, if the markets are going to crash, if we are going to see lots of people losing their jobs, if we are going to see another bearish year for the S&P 500, if we are going to see inflation continue to increase, well, that means food prices are going to get more and more expensive. And so if we want to thrive, if we want to have those best years ahead of us, if we don't want to be affected by 
other people's decisions. All right? And we want to take on responsibility for our own sustenance, food, right? Then these are steps that we need to take. And so food, it leads me to a next topic, which is very important. That is taking control of your health. You got to be healthy if you want to be free. Oh my goodness, I know all about how to stay healthy. I never do dangerous things like going outside. I always cover every opening to my body, my nose, my mouth, my butthole, everything. Always get experimental technologies put into my body that will make me healthy, right? I just outsource my immunity and everything. You gotta be healthy if you want to be free. It's just the truth, guys. And I see so many people, especially my age, who are totally ignoring their health, they're eating an unhealthy diet, they're not getting exercise, they're putting things into their body that are known to cause disease. Now, if we are unhealthy, how can we expect to be free? If we are a slave to not only our own health problems, but also a slave to taking pharmaceutical drugs to ease the symptoms of our health problems, how can we be free when we're eating foods that are making us foggy-minded, that are lowering our work capacity, that are making it so that we are docile. And if you're a guy, making it so that you have low testosterone so you don't have that drive to go out there and accomplish the things that you have to do to take on those responsibilities to be free. Now, everybody understands how to be more healthy, right? Talk to anybody on the street. It's like, how do you be more healthy? They'll say, well, it's you know, I guess eat more vegetables, right? I should probably exercise more, stop eating fast food. Everybody knows how to do this, but very few people are willing to take on that responsibility. Now, I can see in my own life, right? I have gone from a 21-year-old guy who ate fast food three times a day to a 31-year-old guy who eats a whole food diet. And I can say from experience that I am much more focused mentally. I have much more mental capacity. I can think more clearly. I'm better at problem solving. I am stronger, um, just in general, like like actual physical strength, I can accomplish way more work. I have such a crazy work capacity. I can wake up in the morning. I could do a crazy full body workout. I could do technical analysis, do a whole bunch of work on the computer. I can go outside and spend like five, six hours literally doing physical labor. And I can do that and I'm, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't destroy me. Why? It's because I'm focusing on my health. And how can we expect to take on more responsibilities? How can we expect to stay disciplined to do the things we have to do in order to maintain that freedom if we are not taking charge of our health? America is so sick and it's because of the foods we eat. And I know people hate to hear this, but we have to take responsibility for our health if we want to provide for ourselves, provide for our families, take on the responsibilities that we have to take on in order to be free and to produce the things that we have to do as free individuals so that we can support our communities so that we do not become slaves to outside sources. If we know prices are going to be getting higher, if we know inflation is going to be going up, if we know supply chains are going to start to have issues, why would we want to put ourselves into a position where we are now reliant on external things such as drugs uh, that will make us a slave? Or why would we want to become now a slave to uh, health problems that are brought on by our own behaviors. This is illogical thinking. This is illogical thinking, and it is going to lead to bondage. Not caring about your health, that is a slavery mentality. Your mindset when it comes to what you do for work and what you do to generate income will determine your future path of whether or not you're going to become more free or more enslaved. Now, I am a huge advocate of taking steps to become more financially independent. And I truly believe this is something that everybody can take steps to accomplish. It does not have to happen overnight. You don't ever even have to become completely financially independent. But what I am saying is just like taking steps to grow your own food, taking steps to get more healthy, we can take steps to become more independent in what we do for work and what we do for income. Now, the first aspect of that, guys, is starting businesses. This is something I always talk about. I have been an entrepreneur literally since I was in middle school. I've always been looking for ways to sell my own products or my own services to generate my own income. This is something anybody can do. Do you have a skill? Is it training dogs? Is it doing landscaping? Is it roofing? Is it uh, teaching somebody something? You need to monetize this to some degree because anything you can do to produce some kind of income, 
is going to put you on that path to freedom. But again, this comes down to a mindset. Do you have that mindset to say, you know what? I am going to take those steps to become more free. I am going to start to generate my own income by maybe starting a business. Now for me, I have had businesses since, like I said, I was a kid. I've had three legitimate businesses that have been registered LLCs. And speaking of businesses, guys, I do have a trading course, right? If you're interested in learning how to trade, this is one of my businesses where I sell courses to teach people how to trade. This course will give you the skills that you need to become a more confident, more profitable trader, giving you that point A to point B system so you always know where you're looking to take your next trade, right? Also, if you're looking for a thriving trading community, the best trading community in this bear market right now, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. This is where we give the levels, give the trade setups every single day. And this leads me, guys, to the next aspect of becoming more financially free, which is learning how to invest, okay? Even in the worst of bear markets, there is potential to make money when the price is going down. There is something called shorting the market. A lot of people don't understand what shorting is. I talk to a lot of family members who know that I'm a trader, and after the whole FTX thing happened, I can't tell you how many phone calls and text messages I got from people who are like, Jason, are you okay? Like, are, do you need help? Like, are you going to lose everything you own because Bitcoin crashed? And I was explaining to them, look, you know, I made on this crash m tens of thousands of dollars because I shorted the market. And they, they don't quite understand that. But if you can learn how to invest to any capacity, you can take the money that you make in your businesses and you can grow that money. And this is not anything that you can do to get rich quick. We're not talking about getting rich quick right? What we are talking about is taking a more comprehensive approach to being free, taking steps to become more food sovereign, taking steps to becoming more healthy, taking steps to start producing your own income through businesses, and taking steps to learn how to invest, right? Even if we're just making small gains here and there or learning the skill of investing, it is something that can be very, very beneficial to us because if we focus on these three things, right? food, health, and then generating our own income. We can then become self-sufficient in many ways of our life, and we are not reliant on the systems that are very, very unreliable, right? I'm talking about food prices, food availability, uh, things like the supply chain, drug availability, the availability to go to a doctor, right? We have to take on these responsibilities for ourselves because this is what is going to make us free. The more work, the more responsibility, the more discipline we have to actually take control of these aspects of our life, it will lead to a very free lifestyle where you can get to the point where you can do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. And that's the thing, guys. I am literally at the point in my life where I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. I could do that. But here's the thing. Do I do whatever I want, whenever I want? The answer is no. And why? Because although I have the freedom to do those things, I understand that the freedom I have is contingent upon my discipline to take on my responsibilities, right? So if I now take advantage of the freedom I have to just say, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to stop working. I'm just going to go out and enjoy my life and travel and do all these things. Well, then guess what? Boom. Boom camera fell, then guess what? I'm going to lose the freedom that I have right now. And so I am tied to my homestead, right? I can't just leave and go on some crazy vacation. I got to take care of my animals. I got to produce the food, right? I can't take time off work, right? I can't take time off the charts. These are the things that I do that keep me free. I'm not just trying to sit here and get the government stimmy checks and watch Netflix and play video games, that is going to lead to my bondage, right? It's not like you work really hard to become free and then you're like, oh, I'm free. Like, no, that's not what freedom is, guys. Freedom is an ongoing thing, ongoing taking on of responsibilities, an ongoing um, pursuit of the things that you know you have to do to provide for yourself, to provide for your family. So I just kind of wanted to make this video. As we see, 2023 possibly being worse than 2022, we need to start thinking with that mindset. Do we want to be those people who are totally caught off guard, 
who lose everything because they're not thinking this way, because they have a slave mentality. Those people are going to be slaves, guys. Those are going to be the people who own nothing and are happy about it, who are living off government universal basic income, who basically have to be a complete slave to whoever is giving them orders. If they want to continue to live, they have to do what they're told. That is not what I want to do, guys. That is not what I want to do. And I would not be um, complete in my ideas if I didn't say that everything I am talking about is also contingent on my belief in God, my belief in a creator. Personally, I believe in Jesus the Messiah. That is my faith. I consider myself a Christian. But it is because of my faith in God that makes me want to take hold of these responsibilities and have the discipline to do the things I have to do in order to live the life I want to live because I want to raise my family in a way that I know is going to benefit, benefit them in the future so that they can live a life that honors God and they don't have to be put into a position that I know will make it more difficult for them to do the right thing in the future. And so with that being said, guys, I do want to wish everybody a very happy holiday season. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. God bless everybody in the name of Jesus the Messiah. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace, y'all.